Here we have the porcupine puffer, Diodon holocanthus. Although cute while small, they quickly grow to around a foot, and you'll need a thousand litres for an adult specimen. They're not suitable for reef tanks because they will eat shrimps, crabs, snails and may also nip at corals. As they become larger, they can also become increasingly aggressive. As with all puffer fish, it's very important to not take them out of the water. Part of their defence mechanism allows them to inflate with water so that they're too large for predators to swallow. However, if they inflate with air, they're often unable to deflate themselves and this can be fatal. If you need to move a porcupine puffer, use a large net to guide it into a jug or other similar receptacle. To prevent it getting overgrowth in its teeth, it's important that it's fed a diet featuring hard shells, such as cockles, krill or similar foods. As with all puffer fish, they can accumulate toxins within the body, which can be fatal to anything that eats them. However, they are unable to exude the poison, and so are rarely a danger to other aquarium inhabitants. Although public aquariums may keep several puffer fish in together, this is not recommended in the confines of a home aquarium.